This is the Get To Free Press, and I'm George Boston Rines, and I believe that you have a right to know, and my beautiful brother, John H. Robinson, have something he want to share with you. It's on you. Yes. Uh, good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, and, you know, it's the beginning of the starting of the week, and it's starting out quite well. I want to talk a little bit about the influence of power, what it's like to witness those of power that deny those that's craving to become into the realms of power. You know, we live in a city that's ran and operated by powerful people that things from day to day and it seemed like there'd be a, a line of divide, a social divide, where we have economic instability. We need stability in our community. It means that we need monies to flow through our community. I'm a minister at the first Antioch Missionary Baptist Church. In fact, I'm an associate pastor at the First Antioch Missionary Baptist Church. And it's an old church, one of the oldest churches here in Lowndes County. Um, as a minister, I would like to speak on behalf of what it's like to witness the struggle of trying to achieve and accomplish a goal. We go through so many different changes here in this county. County is 51 or more percent black. And, you know, and we treat it like it's the minority. Whereas in these facts, it's the majority. I'm hoping that one day we can find some justice and equality of the laws. And we got a struggle that we face from day to day in our lives. And it's a struggle that is produced that we can't seem to find our way for some means. We have elected officials that seem to be doing the best they can do as far as the blacks that's on these boards, but it's not good enough. Struggle for power. We have businesses that don't have the aid that they need as far as financial stability. We need growth here in our city. You know, there come a time when we have to face the facts, the hardcore facts of reality, and we're doing all we can to promote justice and to combat the injustices that we face here in Adams County. On a different note, Ryan and I, we published a book, and as a minister, we're talking about the inspiration of our spirits that drives us to want to have and to accomplish and to be something. He published a book called The Tribute to the Unknown Soldier. That book is a book that inspires me to the fullest because there was a point in my life where I needed the help of this unknown soldier that he's referring to in this book. I wrote a book called Chicken Scratch. And it's got the autobiography of my life and the struggle, struggling for justice and equality. I got diagnosed with esophageal cancer, which was terminal. 
I was given two to six months to live. I'm in remission right now. My stomach and pancreas was removed. They took my small intestines and made me a small pouch. And in spite of being sitting on death row, I dedicate the rest of my life, the time that I have to God and entrepreneurs, promoting entrepreneurship for justice and equality for black people here in our county, our city, and elsewhere that there's any injustices. The book Chicken Scratch is defined by a handwriting that can't be defined by when someone taking rights it. And our lives are so much like that. And I want to let you know that we are fighting for justice and equality of the laws. Black businesses are struggling here in this county for the lack of equality. We need banks' participations. We need, we need, our entrepreneurs need to have people that would invest in them. They are good in the fields that they're in, the brick carpenters, the brick masons, carpenters, welders, fabrication companies, CPR companies, and that's right, the one that do CPR, to teach people how to do CPR. And we need people to invest in our communities. That being said, I want to close out this by letting it be known that it's a struggle here in Lowndes County and that we have to combine our strength together and unify for a better cause. Ministers need to come together not only in promoting the gospel, but to promote justice and equality by unifying. If we can build mega churches, we can buy the buildings from downtown. It's about the struggle for power. We deserve it. We need to buy properties and invest in our own communities. Now I'm about to say something that, you know, we have grocery stores. Everyone seemed to come and lean on our communities for economic prosperity. They're moving our neighborhoods. We are catered to them and make them millionaires. Mr. B's is a store that's in our community. Stan's is a store that's in our community. The Oscar bars are still in our community. And all of them make millions and millions and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars of our communities. But what do they reinvest back into the community? What do they really contribute? Give away a box of ribs, uh, a pack of fish, donating to the churches on small levels, but what is that in comparison to them moving into the communities? If we were to stop catering to them and rushing to aid them for two to three weeks, they'll be speaking out in your behalf. We got to do something. We need to do something that have an economic impact that we can rise to power. That's the chicken scratch. I know you might not can understand it, but this is where we got to go with this. We got to take a stand. We got to fight for the cause, and we got to be devoted and dedicated on every front. I close this by saying, God is on our side. He always have been and always will be. We are the people that always was able to take nothing and make something out of it. And we can thrive together down here. 
All we got to do is unify and justify ourselves to the cause. Thanks so much.